Brewing has completely taken over my life, which is so strange because about nine years ago I visited pubs but didn't really know much about the beer scene at all. To James it was a little bit different. But it was back in 2004 when Steve and James had a conversation in a pub about, well, you know, we've been doing this homebrew stuff for a while and it seems to be going pretty well. Wouldn't it be great if we had our own brewery? So with their brewing skills and with my background skills, we had kind of the complementary set. But we've been joined by a lovely close-knit team. Saulo Pereira is our fabulous head brewer and he is here 24-7, it seems like, and he's supported very ably by Scott Davis, another local lad from Midhurst, who is with us three days a week. And then we have Jim Rogers, who is ensuring the brews get to the customers on time. It took two years for us to finally sort of find the right place, which is the most beautiful, beautiful barn on part of the Cowdray Estate. We're in the South Downs National Park, we wanted to create a traditional solid brand that would be total quality that people would recognise and want to identify with. And we thought, what could we have as our sort of logo to sort of really epitomise us? And so we chose the woodcut of the swallow. At Langham's, we really pride ourselves on all the different varieties of beers that we brew. I mean, over the years, it's developed really. When we started, we started off with just uh, two core beers. Uh, the Halfway to Heaven and Sundowner, which did really well for us. And then we felt that we had a need for a blonde hoppy beer, um, which we brought in, which was hip hop. All the um, ingredients, uh, leaf hops, uh, you know, quality malts produced by uh, Warminster. At the brewery, we brew all sorts of different styles of beer from traditional best bitter session beers, um, blonde, pale ales, uh, dark malts, smoked Baltic porters, uh, traditional milds. You know, really, we try to cover the full range, even a Belgian Saison style beer. Um, you know, and most of the beers that we've brewed have now been award winning. And the brewery was a finalist in the Sussex Food and Drink Awards, which was really exciting. enabled us to meet and make so many more friends and the way that we look at it is beer is a social glue and in a sense we are the people that facilitate sort of community in a way which is why we like having the events at the brewery but it also enables us because we're both festival lovers to go out and share our beer in other places. The barn is a welcoming environment and the whole ambience of the brewery is sort of fabulous and welcoming so it lends itself to doing community events and for the last couple of years we have been able to be very very lucky to host what we call pop-up gigs or live at Langham. Over the last year we've raised over probably sort of £750 for various charities, local and international, which is putting something back um, as well as sort of giving something to community in that they can enjoy the music. And just, it's but quite good when you go to a pub and see someone drinking your pint and just say good things about the beer and that's, it makes you happy and it gives you quite a nice buzz. The uniqueness within the beers that we brew is the quality of the ingredients and the attention to detail, trying to really encapsulate the style of beer and um, make the beers you know, as good as we possibly can. Mm -hmm.